For over a year now, I've used this AI tool to edit every single video on this channel, including this one, and it has helped me put out more videos much faster. It's called Bling AI, and if you make talking head videos, voiceovers, or podcasts, this tool is a real game changer. It automatically removes those bad takes and silences so you can focus on the actual edit and make more videos in less time. It also has some hidden features that have completely changed the way I make YouTube videos. Let me show you. When you log into Gling AI with your YouTube channel, you can use it to generate video ideas based on your channel's activity, which I find really cool. You know what would be even cooler though? If you hit that subscribe button. I need your help to improve our subscription ratio and my goal is 50% by the end of 2025. And make sure you watch the entire video because I have a sweet deal to share with all of you. To start editing your video or audio recording, simply drag and drop the file here and here is what my A-roll footage typically looks like, full of mistakes and pauses. So let's see what happens when we process it through Gling AI. You have the option to add a multicam track if you used multiple cameras. If you have a written script that matches the video's dialogue exactly, you can add it here for more accurate results. Click continue to proceed. Next, you can select options like cutting silences, removing bad takes. Several features aren't selected by default. You can also always adjust these settings after importing your video. You can go ahead and click on enhance and edit and while Gling AI processes your video, you will see some helpful tips. After processing, you will have your video transcription over here with Gling AI automatically removing unwanted sections. Don't worry if you disagree with some of the automatic edits, I will show you how to make manual adjustments to fine tune it. My favorite features of Gling AI are found under enhance and AI assistant. I will cover these amazing features features later in the video, but let's first look at some essential functions. First, there is the pace feature on the right side. Increasing the pace tells Gling AI to remove more silences, making your video faster, while decreasing it creates a more relaxed edit. As I mentioned earlier, you can manually adjust the edit. There are two ways to do this. First, you can use the timeline to drag the ins and outs of your clips and you will see the transcription update in real time, which is pretty cool. The second method is text-based editing. This means you can select specific parts directly from the transcription and choose to cut them out or bring them back in. For example, let's say I want to bring back the first sentence into the video. Simply select it and click on cut. And just like that, this part is back in the video. You can also remove words words or sentences, just select the part you don't want to hear and click cut. This method makes it much easier to find specific parts in your video instead of having to play back, scrub through or search your timeline. You can also correct specific words in your script if they were transcribed incorrectly. For example here I need to say edit instead of add. So I'll select that word, click correct and change it. This function is very important. Here's why. When you select words or sentences in your transcript, you can add various elements to that specific part of your video. For instance, you can add captions that overlay on top of your video, highlighting each word as it's spoken. You can also add a sleek subscribe animation here. It's clean and simple. Perfect if you want professional looking graphics without creating them yourself. Another great feature I discovered while using Gling AI is the ability to add B-roll stock footage to specific parts of your video. You can browse their library of free stock footage, upload your own video or use AI to generate unique videos directly within Gling AI, which you can then add to your timeline. I'm using a simple prompt here to demonstrate, but you can be much more detailed and specific for better results. And that's not all. There are even more amazing features. First though, let's clean up the script to ensure everything flows smoothly with proper cuts throughout the video. Next, go to enhance where you will find even more features. The first one is smart captions. When enabled, Gling AI automatically creates animated captions just like the example I showed you earlier but now apply to the whole video. You can easily customize these captions by selecting them and adjusting their style. Another useful feature in the enhance menu is jump cut zooms. When enabled, you can adjust the zoom ratio to automatically scale up clips at each cut. This creates smoother transitions between cuts and makes your video more engaging. 
You can also adjust the zoom level for individual clip to tailor the effect to your needs. Below the zoom function, you can enable automatic B-roll for your entire timeline. This allows Gling AI to automatically select and place stock footage throughout your video. Like many creators, I don't record in a soundproof environment. If you're like me, you will likely have some background noise in your recordings. Gling AI comes with its own built-in audio enhancement feature. Let's enable this. If you prefer a more natural sound like I do, you can simply disable the speech enhancement. Getting started with Gling AI is super simple. Getting started with Gling AI is super simple. Perfect, but we're not done yet. Beyond video editing, Gling AI offers features that will help your video succeed and reach a wider audience after publishing. I'm talking about the AI Assistant, which includes two powerful features. The first one is Title Generator. Let me show you how it works using the script of this exact video you're watching right now. When I click on the title generator, Gling AI analyzes the script and suggests three different titles. I can generate additional title ideas and I will definitely use one of these for my final video. You can also use the chapter generator to automatically timestamp your video for YouTube. Even if you need to adjust some chapter titles later, having the automatic generation saves you a tremendous amount of time. Once you're done editing your video in Gling AI, you can export it directly as a video. To export your edit to other editing software, you can save it as an XML file. I personally use Adobe Premiere. When I open the exported XML file in Premiere Pro, it automatically creates a sequence with all my edits and clips already in place. As you can see, the captions are imported along with the video and any B-roll or stock image I've added would also appear in the timeline. But because I've significantly sped up my process by using Gling AI, this gives me extra time to enhance my video with additional visuals and sound effects. So let's have a look. Getting started with Gling AI is super simple. Just head over to gling.ai. You can use it online directly on the website or download the desktop application and you can try your first video for free so you can see exactly how it works now depending on how much content you plan to edit gling ai offers several pricing options including a free membership and here's the good news because you're watching this video you get access to an exclusive discount for a limited time you can save 20 percent on any plan by using my code mdmz at checkout mm -hmm.